Okay, I'm going to attempt to bake my ASRock motherboard. Um, it's uh, the P40, P43 DE3. This was, even though it's only a P43 chipset, this was a hell of a motherboard. Um, I had a Q955 uh, uh, 90, 90, 9550 processor on it with 16 gig of DDR3 RAM. And uh, and when I ran it with the solid state drive, and of course a bunch of other hard drives hooked up to this thing, um, it really did kick ass pretty good. But, stupid me, bought another motherboard off of eBay, and I took my processor from here, the Q9550, and I put it in the other motherboard because that was a gigabyte that had a P45 chipset in it. Um, so it could take up 16 gig of DDR3 RAM. So, I was going to put that in that, I was going to put my Q9300 in this one. Well, anyways, that gigabyte motherboard was bad, ended up frying my, my, uh, my processor, my CPU, um, which I didn't know at the time. Uh, so I took the gigabyte out of the case, uh, put this motherboard back in there, got everything all set up with my, uh, with my processor, went to fire it up and nothing. I mean, at first the uh, fans would come on and go off, on, off, on, off, on, off, but it would never go to boot. Um, uh, then I think I cleared the CMOS or something, and, and uh, then it would come on and the fans would, would spin normally. Um, but no video, no boot, no nothing. So I took a uh, Pentium dual core that I had, uh, which I know was a good processor because I'd just taken it out of my oldest son's computer like about two months ago, and it was stored in the uh, oh, in the case that uh, we got him a new processor, and it came in a little case, so that was stored in that. So I put that dual core in this motherboard and bench test it, uh, fired it up, and the fans came on for one or two seconds, and then everything just went black. So this motherboard's having nothing, no action at all whatsoever. So, needless to say, I'm pretty pissed. Um, well, I'm pissed at the guy that sold me that damn motherboard on eBay who guaranteed me it was working. And that was stupid me, though, because it had uh, five bent pins, okay, in the socket. And that was the first thing I noticed. I sent him an email right when the board got here. I told him, hey, dude, I said, you know, there's five bent pins on there. He said, no, I, I just pulled it out of my computer the night before, and it was running. You know, it's probably just, a, you know, just a, a, an optical illusion. So, so me, I mean, he had a 100%, uh, you know, positive rating on eBay. So I figured, all right, well, anyways, ended up, one of the pins was touching another pin, and it just, you know, just fried everything, so, son of a bitch. So anyways, I found on the internet about bacon. So, I got my wife's stove, preheating to 385 degrees, um, so put it in there about seven and a half minutes, eight minutes, and I'm going to see if something, you know, came loose, because you go over this whole motherboard, I can't see anything wrong with it. Um, you know, none of the capacitors are, are uh, you know, there's just nothing I can see wrong with it. I mean, I'm sure there's probably something, you know, I can't see, well, obviously there is. But, if I try, uh, I'll try, you know, baking it, melt that solder, reset it, see if, you know, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe, who knows. I'm just going to give it a try. But I did, however, just this morning find another gigabyte motherboard on eBay, identical to the one that fried my processor, um, for freaking $15 cheaper, and uh, it looks, you know, you can see the pins, everything, it looks freaking great, so I bought that one, we'll see when it gets here, but. Of course, now I'm down a processor, I don't know what the hell I'm worried about. Oh, well, alright, I'm going to get this ready to put in the oven. Okay. Here it is, on a cookie sheet. I got some aluminum spacers under there, aluminum foil spacers. Keep it up off the thing, try to keep it as level as possible. But, she's going in. So, just a second here. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Okay, here she goes. Let's see what happens. Now we'll wait seven minutes. It is 12.32. Oh shit, man. My camera fell down. I gotta get me a new tripod. That's it. Piece of shit. Alright, we'll be back in uh, seven minutes. It's 12.32. Okay, I'm gonna be taking that out in just a minute. Um, word, word of uh, caution there. If you're married, don't do this at home because it freaking stinks, man. Um, you know, take it to one of your friend's house and do it or something. If you're single, I guess we are. My lady's gonna be pissed if she comes home and smells this crap. I should have done it in my, my power coating oven, but I didn't feel like doing that. I'm oh, lazy, some bitch. Okay. Okay, there it be. Supposedly, son of a bitch, the damn camera did it go down again. Oh, I done it. <laughs> Never mind. Supposedly, that's all you gotta do. Let's see. Oh, yellow. Oh. 
See if we can zoom in on something here. I don't know if them things look like they melted. I see something here that came loose. The plastic thingamajiggy there came down, went down through. So that obviously got... Oh shit, that's uh... Ow! Ooh, that's hot! That's for my uh... Oh, I think that's... No, that's... Is that power or fucking IDE? That's power, I think. Well, obviously that shit worked. I should have put something underneath there to support that. Hmm. What else? You see? Right there, that's uh... Yeah, that's my power, fuck. So I'm gonna have to be real careful when I plug the power in, otherwise I'll push that shit through. Hmm. I should have warned us about that. I never even thought, thought about it, really. I wonder how sad that things went. So obviously it does heat the solder up because that started to fall through. Um, so unless it was that way all along, and maybe that's why it quit working. Everything else seems to be okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it'll be cool if it works. And if it doesn't work, of course it won't be cool, so. But, like I said, it stinks like hell. And so. Alright, well, we'll see after it cools down. Okay. I got the motherboard set up. Ready to go. Um, I didn't put the uh, I didn't put the heat sinks on the on the bridge sets. I figure I ain't gonna fry around with all that crap if it's not working. Um, got my cheapy uh, video card. Actually, that's a that freaking video card does a damn good job. Oops, shit! I just pushed it. Um, got the power hooked up. Got that 12 volt ATX or whatever it is. I got the fan hooked up. Oh, there's a the fan. Oh, all around. Got my video card. Got my monitor. So, let's see what happens here. I'm not really expecting a whole hell of a lot, so. Of course, you know, I read it on the internet that this works, so it's gotta be true. So, you know how that goes. Alright, let's find where the jumpy is here. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh! Look at that shit! She fired up? I'll be damned. Huh. Let's see the monitor. Turn the monitor on. Uh, no signal. Well, hey, at least it's working, right? I'll have to find something to stick in there to see if, you know... I'm going to put the speaker on there see if I get any beeping noises. All right. See ya.